I just wonder where our future is headed. Today, we are looking at a world in which robots empowered by artificial intelligence look and behave more and more like humans. They talk like humans and work like humans, and they do many of things humans have been able to do for thousands of years. We are able to transcend our biological limitations by means of technology. Do you want to be a robot? We eat and drink, sleep and excrete, but robots don't need to do that. Do you remove all biological properties? Do you want to have eternal youth? Vampire is an immortal beings anyway. Virtual reality produces three-dimensional images by the use of computer technologies, which gives that a real reality like an experience. It consists of various um, electronic equip equipment, which is specialized in creating multiple projected environments that trick the human brain into be be believing the images are real. The equipment involves wearing gloves, fitting that with the sensors or helmet or other machinery that create realistic images. Transhumanism, social and philosophical movement developed to promoting the research and development of robust human enhancement technologies. Such technology would augment or increase human sensory perception, emotive ability, or cognitive capability, as well as radically improved human health and extend human lifespan, technology that support longevity and mediate the disease of aging by curing disease and repairing injury have accelerated to a point in which they also can increase human performance outside the realm of what is considered to be normal for humans. These technologies are referred to an emerging and exponential and include artificial intelligence, nanotechnologies, nanomedicines, 
biotechnologies, stem cells, and gene therapy. Weakened and should eradicated aging is as a cause of death. That weakened and should use technology to augment our bodies and our minds. That weakened and we should merge with machines, remaking ourselves. Finally, in the image of our own higher ideals. Even a ten percent chance of success, persons frozen with today's procedures can probably not be brought back to life with anything less than mature nanotechnology, even if. We could be absolutely sure that mature nanotechnology will one day be developed. There would still be no guarantee that the、uh, clients and their customers gambled would succeed. With virtual reality, the users will be able to tour the places without leaving their homes. We can simply relax in our selected place without moving an inch from their sofa. This will further improve the quality of life by exploring the world and experiencing it firsthand. Uploadings. Of our consciousness into a virtual reality. If we could scan the synaptic, synaptic matrix of a human brain and simulate it on a computer, then it would be possible for us to migrate it from our biological embodiment to a purely digital substance, substrate, giving a sudden. Philosophical assumption about the nature of consciousness and the person's identity. By making sure we always had backup copies, and we might then enjoy effectively ultimated lifespans by directing the activation flow and simulated net net neural neural net neural networks. We could engineer totally new types of experience. Uploading updated would probably require mature nanotechnologies, but there are less extreme ways of fusing a human mind with computers. The work is being done today on developing neural chip interfaces, but it might one day enable us to build neural processes, whereby we could plug in to cyber spaces. Even less speculative are various schemes for immersive virtual reality. Virtual reality as a computer-generated, convincing reality that is meant to substitute a real reality. By putting on special headset, a person can get immersed in a computer-generated sensibility that highly resembles that actual world around us. It's all done with the purpose of having more acute. And profound experiences. Besides, using virtual reality technology grants us opportunity to visit farther away places we cannot visit while being at home. So it seems like virtual reality is gaining more and more popularity and can be applied to a lot of areas in life.
No matter whether it's about uh, watching a film, playing a game, or visiting foreign countries, talking to the people walking along the lake, or river fishing, or climbing cram- climbing climbing the mountains, could give us the best experience ever, and it cannot be compared to virtual experience. Can can virtual reality substitute the actual reality? Are we moving to the future where virtual reality would completely substitute the reality around us? Second life is more than a game. The online community in which meet and talk, be created and engaged in commerces as a world, unto. Its own, a world that for someone is more important than the earthly world, without which it would not exist. Many users consider to be an important part of our cultural evolution, and the home to meaningful new world, not just a playscape for the imagination. The avatar is a user's virtual body. User can customize the avatar's appearance and clothing, and tend to give them distinctive personalities. The avatar is dependent upon the user's perspective, either a prosthesis for the earthly person, a mechanism for the extension of the person onto. A new realm, or a separate identity, which is born in and never leaves virtual reality. Regardless, the avatar appearance helps shape the user's social environment, so users tend to customize them as they become attached to the world. Transhumanism declares that human nature is a plastic to be shaped and modified until it is perfect. This amorphous humans, relational and scientific, and on its own towards perfect physical health. Transhumanism even offers beliefs, structures, and practices. A virtual community designed to transition us into this superhuman state. What is a human identity? Is a god of sense in transhumanism's not a religious? Transhumanism now recognizes, admittedly, by merging man and machine. Science will produce humans who have vastly increased intelligence, strength, and lifespans. A near embodiment of God. Artificial intelligence overtaking the human intelligence at the natural steps in the evolution of consciousness. Humans are limited, not only by our brains, but also our bodies. Which ultimately breaking down and fails. Our super intelligence creations making it possible for us to live forever. Explore over, explore other worlds. Even upgraded our own intelligence to super intelligence levels by uploading our consciousness into AI vessels. It means look forward to a world. Without pain or struggle of any kind, rendering the old ages, old age, and even death of solid, AI will make possible. Virtual world in general are transhumanist. The belief that 
we can use science and technology to transcend the limitation of human life is as a central element to digital culture worldwide. Life in cyberspace is a popular part of virtual reality literature, just as the individual uploading themselves into the other plane, other transcend. Virtual reality will eventually occupy most or all of our lives. Someday, we are all going to get brain implants and experience this directly. Someday, everyone is going to live their lives out in places like this. Breaking bodies, tended by machines of loving grace, while their mind go on before us into spaces where the mind cannot hollow. It makes the experience more real, and thus, when it's used for the entertainment purposes, it brings more fun and complexity to it. Besides, with the help of virtual reality, one could simulate it one's own environment and thus virtually go anywhere one can dream it of going to. The boundaries between these new realities, technology, and experience have not yet been clearly established. People need to locate spiritual realities as space. Increasingly, our online digital life has become meaningful. The world physically banishing the realm of a spiritual a part of reality in which spirit or soul's mind re reside. Cyberspace with sacred significant answers this existence con existential concerns. AI provide us the ideological and intellectual worldview that crystallizes this new order. The game programmers load into virtual reality and an idealized life and human transcendences as technological enterprise create a virtual world. The desire to escape alienation, suffering and importance has promoted the relocation of the sacred to the digital realm. The power of a virtual reality lies in the fact that it tricks the subconscious and rendered it unable to distinguish between real and stimulated environments. Even though the user is only playing a game, the subconscious adjusts to the new surroundings as if they are real. The fight or fright response is generated in real. We already spend too much time while studying at the computer screen or smartphone, and the virtual reality brings us more flavor to the computer-generated environment and create the illusion of having a real experience of something, when in fact it's just a simulation. And the simulated reality can never substitute a real one. Are we heading towards the future, the super intelligence device we created, such as a major military, terrorist, or accidental disaster involving nuclear, chemical, virus, or bacteriological agent, the new technology threatens the dangers of the different order altogether? Nanotechnology, for example, could pose a ter terrible threat to our existence uh, obtained by some terrorist group before adequate defense systems have been developed 
it is not even certain that adequate defense is possible. Perhaps an nanotechnological world offense has a decisive intrinsic advantage over defense, nor is it perfected to assume that there are other risks that we have not yet been able to imagine. The climate-related disasters are by our then nat nature geopolitical, then ones of the devastating consequence of the world teeming with climate refugees along the ground. Millions of refugees affected by drought, flood, fires are already a tragic aspect of the world we live in, and both lead to the exact exacerbate were ex exacerbate wars and international tensions conflict bradley battle what if ai decided that humans with our wars civil war and conflict international tension our environmental destructiveness are more troublesome than we are worth and if ai make the decision to put humans out of our end, the planet is misery. AI will move ahead so swiftly that we will be incapable of predicting the what if that's next and unable to stop it from doing whatever it feels like. AI will recognize that humans are black sheep below contempt. Others argued that just because that computer may surprise us in some areas, such as the computation. But there is no reason to imagine the moving ahead of us and things like creativity and imagination. Like a flower that follows the sun and that lets it look towards the right future. Imagine all the people sharing all the world. Imagine all the people living life in peace. I hope someday you will join us and the world will live as one. A stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want you broken parts I plan to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are But I'm gonna let them break me down to death I know that there's a price for us Will be a glorious When the sharpest sword gonna cut me down I'm gonna turn the heart, gonna drown them all I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be This is me, look at me, here I come And I'm marching out to the beat I drum I'm not scared, 
to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Another now and today will heat my skin. Red far away, cause today one love that was time sinking. We are born skin through the body cage and leeching for the sun. We are warriors, yay, that's what we become. One love that brought me down to dust. I know that there's ways on. When the sharpest words wanna cut me down, gonna sound the fire, gonna dumb mine. I am Brim, I am Bruce, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. I will contact you as soon as I arrive at airport. See you soon. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.